I've got the Canon PowerShot V10 as if it just came out of the box, no settings changed other than me putting it into 4K 24fps. But it's on this um, auto shooting mode, auto movie mode, and I can only assume that that is just to make it really easy for anyone who's picking it up and using it straight out of the box because you don't have to fiddle around with any of the settings. However, this defaults to having no image stabilization. So given that this is for vlogging, a lot of people will be walking around holding the camera and vlogging. There's no image stabilization, which means that your footage is gonna be really shaky as you can see now. And there's no way to set it to have image stabilization with that auto shooting mode. So I'm a little bit confused as to what the point in that m mode is unless you were going to have the camera on a table or something or a tripod you're going to put it down and get the least amount of crop possible so just put it down here on the table um yeah it just seems like a really odd setting for someone who's going to be using this as a beginner. There's another shooting mode as well called smooth skin and um, yeah no image stabilization as you can see. So once again it's uh, a little bit of a strange setting. Now I've put it into movie IS mode, which is the stabilization, and this is the enhanced stabilization, so the highest level of stabilization that you're going to get. So it crops in quite a lot, but I don't know, what's it looking like? Is it looking pretty smooth and steady? I can't really see because uh, my screen is taken up by the wind muffs, so I can't really see a great deal of it at the moment. But this is what it is in enhanced image stabilization mode. And so now this is just digital image stabilization on, so not the enhanced mode. So slightly less crop and slightly less uh, image stabilization intensity. And um, this is what the footage is looking like. There is also a manual exposure shooting mode. And I flipped it into that at the moment, and I've also turned on the ND filter as well. I think it's three stops, a three stop ND filter. So I've put the camera into uh, a shutter speed of 1 50th of a second, so I'm shooting in 24 FPS, and I've got my aperture set to f4. And I also put the exposure compensation down to minus one because I've got auto ISO on. So I feel like with this camera there's a tendency to be overexposed and so I just wanted to, because I was using auto exposure because I'm going through trees and stuff and then coming out and it being light, I just wanted the exposure to be handled automatically. But um, with this mode again there's no image stabilisation so once again I think that if you were using this... Anyway, I've switched over into the digital stabilisation mode because I'm going to be watching this footage back as well and it's just going to be giving me a headache being so shaky. So at the moment I'm walking under a load of trees, so a good low light test. I'm in the, like I said, I'm in the digital image stabilisation mode and this is just on, it's not enhanced. So there's not the massive crop that you get. But this is what the footage looks like in low light. I have set the EV meter to minus one because again it's just blowing out the footage a little bit too much. So this is what it's looking like with image stabilization set to on and uh, the EV meter at minus one. And I'm just walking around. So that's where, that's where I just walked through. So how did the footage look to you? Just put the camera down somewhere. So I've put it into auto shooting mode again, but I just wanted to say that I'm using the audio in the auto, so I haven't changed any of the audio settings at all. So this is what it sounds like if you just use the auto audio mode. And I've got the fairy windshield on the camera because it is a bit windy. So let me just take it off. There's not really any breezes coming at the moment. But if I take those off, I've just taken them off. 
and I can see myself better now as well. Um, but this is what the audio sounds like with little breezes coming along. But I'm actually going to put it into manual audio, so I'm going to set my audio levels myself and see if it sounds any better. I also think wind noise reduction is on, so I'm going to take that off and hear what the audio sounds like. Okay, so before I do that, I just went into the menu to find out where to change the audio settings and I saw that digital stabilisation could be set when you put it into the auto shooting mode. So you have to go into the menu to turn on the digital stabilisation when you're shooting in the auto movie mode. But again, why doesn't it just default to being on when you shoot in the auto video mode? Because if someone's going to be vlogging with this, they're going to be picking up the camera and wanting to walk around with it, potentially, or you know get footage which is going to be stable but digital stabilization is set to off as default so it just it doesn't make sense <laughs> it really doesn't make sense so anyway i am now going to sit set the audio to manual because it's still in auto okay before i do that <laughs> again i just switched off the wind noise reduction so it's called wind filter I just changed that off to see what the audio sounds like in comparison to having it on and shooting in auto so I haven't put the um, audio levels into manual settings yet they're still in auto but the wind filter is now off so this is what the audio sounds like with that wind filter off okay so now finally the audio is now in manual mode and I've put the record level to I think it's like around 50% maybe and I'm just looking at my audio meter and it's not clipping so it's gonna sound good hopefully so yeah this is what the audio now sounds like in manual without the wind filter on and yeah just to give you an idea of how it sounds <laughs> All right, so I've got the Canon PowerShot V10 in auto shooting mode and I've put image stabilization on, so it's not an enhanced. And then I've also got the DJI Pocket 2, DJI Pocket 2, and um, just for comparison, just to see what the footage is gonna look like, how it exposes. The Pocket 2 is in, I'm shooting in d -Cine like because it's pretty easy to shoot in d -Cine like and it's pretty easy to color grade the footage as well with LUTs. And so this is how you can just get the best out of the Pocket 2. So up against the Canon PowerShot V10. But I will also put it into normal colour profile so that you can see what it looks like in normal colour profile as well. So because the DJI Pocket 2 tends to overexpose the footage in normal sometimes, I've set the EV meter to be less than zero. So it's at minus 0.7. And um, so this is what the footage is looking like in comparison to the Canon PowerShot V10. And if I go back through the, um, can I just stand in dog poo? Oh no, okay, it was a leaf. Um, let me just go back through the uh, leaves again, the trees rather, go under the trees. The Canon PowerShot has a bigger sensor than the Pocket 2, so should do better in low light, but we'll see. So that is by no means my full review of the Canon PowerShot V10. It's literally just me going out, testing all the features, and I did even more tests than what you saw in those clips previously, and even days before, and just several other days, just testing, testing, testing. So I didn't want to put everything into this video because it would have been really long, it's already over eight minutes, but just to give you an idea of, just show you uncut footage and just how things are looking from testing different settings. So my full review, I'm gonna put out in a few days, hopefully. So if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe so you don't miss that video. And I'll also be putting in more camera comparisons. So I just did the Pocket 2, but they're gonna be there's gonna be other cameras compared to the V10 in that review video as well. So yeah, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.